Oklahoma family, along with the tow truck community, are both grieving a sudden loss. Tow truck operator Kyle McCullough was killed in a hit and run while helping a person Tuesday night. This happened along I-40 just east of Shawnee. News Force Caitlin Ogle is there with more on how Kyle is being remembered and more details on the driver accused of hitting him. It was along this road where troopers say Kyle McCullough was helping someone when he was hit by a semi. Investigators tell us instead of saying on scene, that semi truck driver took off instead. Family was his thing. He was fun to be around. He loved his kids. Kathy Welch and her family reeling from the loss of her son, Kyle McCullough. He was my baby. Late Tuesday night, the 27 year old father of two had just strapped down a car onto his tow truck along I-40 east of Shawnee when he was hit by an oncoming semi. His girlfriend, Christina Skaggs, was in the passenger seat. I just felt we got hit and I looked up and I saw Kyle's body flying hit the ground. That semi slowed and pulled over just a little bit and then left the scene. Pottawatomie County deputies caught up with the semi driver, Shinji Ali, drew their weapons and ordered him out of the cab. Keep your hands up. Hands on your head. Hands behind your back. You're being detained. And I won't ever forgive him. Back at the scene, Kyle's mother responded to his girlfriend's call. They told me that I needed to remember him the way he was and that I needed to cover my eyes when I drove past by to go home. Because apparently it was pretty bad. And troopers say this is why drivers must move over to the far lane. That move over law doesn't just apply to law enforcement or red and blue lights. It also applies to amber lights uh, and even four way flashers on vehicles. And Shawnee, Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. So hard on those family members. The suspect, meanwhile, from California, bonded out of jail. He faces charges of leaving the scene of a deadly accident. Also, troopers are seeking a search warrant to find out what was inside the semi he was driving. Meanwhile, Kyle's family and the very close-knit community of tow truck drivers are planning a procession in his honor on Friday.